Hi, I'm Brock Simon. I'm a technology specialist here at Work in America, and today I'm going to be going over the SP15i. Three applications really you'll see this machine do, sidewalk, barrier wall, and curb and gutter. One really cool feature on the SP15i is having smart cylinders in the slew legs and the steering cylinders. What this allows is if you have an obstacle in the way of the track on a job site, the operator can move the track left or right to avoid that obstacle. That way, whenever he moves it, the machine does not lose its zero position. And there's also a cylinder on the rear track to be able to slide it left and right. It is not a smart cylinder like the two front slew arms, but you can't really adjust that as you're paving. That's gonna be something you adjust before you start paving. The feeding system on SP15, you have two options, an auger or a conveyor belt. Both have their pros. A conveyor belt's quicker. Auger is gonna continuously mix it as it goes up. If you're pouring in a small, tight area, so a small parking lot, it's good to be able to hold more material inside your auger, whereas a belt, you don't have that option. You're able to pour on the left side and the right side by simply disconnecting the height tower on the machine and mounting it to the right whenever you slide the telescope out. One thing we ask our customers is to keep the grade about a tenth high, so that way we have a trimmer on board to be able to cut, fine tune that grade so the mold's just gliding right on top, maybe even digging in just slightly to avoid gaps underneath the mold to create ultimately a better finish. Trimmer has 16 inches of cylinder stroke, left cylinder and right cylinder. If that's not enough, you can also lower the holes, the mounting holes on each cylinder to give you even more depth. The trimmer also has a windrow door mounted on the right side or left side, depending on if it's a left-handed trimmer or a right-handed trimmer. But the door has an extension, so you can move that windrow more to the right or left. And also the door, the swinging door, can limit the amount of volume and how high it stacks up. So on board the SP15, we have a quick change system. So you're able to quick change a working mold within five minutes to one man max, two man job. We also have pins, so we have a two piece mold and hopper system. So you're able to keep the hopper mounted to the machine with these pins you stick in. So that way the hopper stays on, all you have to do is swap out the mold. We also have adapters. So you as a customer, if you have other machine manufacturers molds, we are able to adapt them to our machine with adapters that we sell and also a plate that comes with the machine. A really cool feature on the SP15 is an extendable walkway, roughly about one foot. This gives the operator a little bit more room up top on the operator's platform and he has a better view inside his hopper. And especially at the end of the day, it really helps with cleaning the machine down. This machine is equipped with smart steering. We call it Ackerman steering. So whether you're using Stringline sensors or 3D, like Autopilot 2.0 on the machine, the machine has a certain point based off either a measure up from 3D or Stringline sensor placement. So Ackerman, it cares about that one point on the machine or on the mold. So as you're going around a curve, these tracks go at different rates, different speeds to calculate that perfect curve. Currently on the SP15i is Autopilot 2.0, whereas we use GPS for steering and either a sonic sensor or a total station for elevation. On the front right mast is our rover, so that is our heading for the machine. And on the rear right mast, that's our master GPS head with a radio below it. That's really telling the machine where to go left or right. New this year is the ability to adapt a Topcon gun on our machine with Autopilot 2.0. For more information on this machine, feel free to visit our website or contact your local dealer. Thanks for watching, guys.